It's 2024, bananas are basically 10 grand a bundle. What do you do when you have dry skin and don't wanna blow a bunch of money on skincare products? You watch this video because in today's video, we are gonna be talking about the best affordable skincare products for dry skin. As far as skincare and hygiene, there are tweaks that you can make in your routine that can make a huge difference. Taking a shorter shower, making sure your water temperature in the shower is not scalding hot, and making sure you're not using too much body wash, making sure you're rinsing all the body wash off. And when it comes to the products that you are applying to your skin, really being conscientious of what you are using, cutting back on unnecessary products if need be, I like to call this doing a skincare reset where you eliminate anything that you think may be not only unnecessary, but potentially contributing to dryness and irritation. Now, when it comes to washing your face at the end of the day, that is an important aspect of a skincare routine because dirt, aero allergens, cosmetics, sebum collect on the skin surface and need to be gently removed. This is important for any skin type because those things left behind on the skin, they can further irritate your skin barrier and aggravate the dryness along with irritation. If you have dry skin, well, it's gonna allow for those irritating things better access into your skin to cause even more problems. If you're dealing with dry skin on the face, you may wanna back down on the frequency of cleansing to just once a day. So what do you use? If you wear makeup and to a certain extent water resistant sunscreen, you may benefit from using a cleansing balm or some sort of makeup remover to break up that film before coming in with a mild cleanser. I'm not really a fan of micellar waters. I find that they often burn and sting, irritate my eyes, but there's this kind of genre category of them that are milky, creamy. I frequently recommend Albaline came out with a micellar cleansing milk um, around the same time of, as their newer cleansing balm. But I actually have found this product to be very effective at dissolving cosmetic residue similar to um, somewhere in between a cleansing balm and a cleansing oil. It doesn't really even feel like a micellar water. You can just take some in your hand and massage it into your skin over your eyelid area. Really a great option too, especially if you're someone who is dealing with dry, irritated eyelids, which is very common this time of year. Makeup removers can irritate the eyelid skin. It's much more delicate. So this is a great option. Rinses off pretty easily because it does have emulsifiers, which help it to rinse off more easily. So I was looking online to see what is the go-to recommendation for a mild fragrance-free cleanser that is the most affordably priced right now. And lo and behold, Cetaphil's OG Gentle Skin Cleanser. Well, it's not really OG because they have changed up the formula a bit, but it's still clocks in at a pretty affordable price even with inflation it is now $14 for 20 ounces this is a great mild creamy very very gentle facial cleanser that is widely recommended amongst dermatologists for people with dry skin or eczema on the face it's super mild by itself in my experience, it doesn't really you it doesn't really take off like mascara particularly well. Like if you just use this, you would come out of the shower, for example, and you would have raccoon eyes if you wear mascara. So that's why I recommend like the cleansing milk, but it's super mild. It leaves your skin clean, but it doesn't strip away at the moisture barrier. It doesn't give that squeaky clean feel, which is basically dry skin. So I mentioned they reformulated it a couple of years ago. The newer formulation has niacinamide, which is actually really good for dry skin. Niacinamide is a B vitamin. It can actually help improve your skin's production of lipids, um, such as ceramide, and it's anti-inflammatory, and it also is an antioxidant, so it may help cut down on oxidative stress that would otherwise damage lipids in your skin. The newer reformulation also has panthenol, another B vitamin that's really good for moisturizing. It has glycerin and humectant. So these are things that can actually be left behind on the skin to help counterbalance any dryness that might arise with just basic cleansing. But like I said, when it comes to dry skin, consider backing down on the frequency of cleansing to just once a day and ideally at the end of the day, because again, you go throughout your day and that's really, you know, your skin is exposed to a lot of things. And then like right before you go to bed, washing your face is important to remove all that because as you 
you sleep, your skin, it has a circadian rhythm. And at night while you're asleep, there's a lot of repair processes going on. So you don't want that cosmetic residue, grime, dirt, whatever left behind on your skin. It just creates sort of more work for your skin in terms of repairing it can be very irritating. Let's talk about body. Dry skin on the body. A big contributing factor can be overdoing it with your bathing. One of the first steps in counseling patients who have dry skin is to address their bathing habits because we know that the following bathing habits can aggravate, worsen, and contribute to dry skin. Again, taking really long especially hot showers, um, using too much body wash, bathing too frequently, and uh, neglecting to moisturize the skin after you get out of the shower or tub. So a body wash that is really good for dry skin, the Aveeno Fragrance-Free Skin Relief Body Wash. This is $9.79 for 18 ounces. Now, this is fragrance-free, but it does have ethylene brassolate, which imparts an aroma to the product. What I really like about this body wash is, in keeping with all of Aveeno's products, it has extracts, derivatives from oat. Oats, colloidal oatmeal, really excellent for dry skin. Underrated for sure because it has compounds in it that are hydrating, humectants to improve moisture content in the skin, helping to offer sustained improvement in dry skin. It also has um, antioxidants, in the form of avananthamides that can help cut down on oxidative stress that further weakens your skin barrier. But oats, like colloidal oats and things, they actually form like a nice barrier on the skin surface to um, help reduce water loss. And they also have natural cleansing properties to them, so they're great in a cleanser. This product is really mild and it rinses off the skin really easily. If you're someone who goes after body washes because you really like like that scent, that fragrance, this is probably not going to be that enjoyable for you, but it really does get the job done and it leaves the skin clean but hydrated. When it comes to dry skin, a big mistake people make is like after they cleanse or after they get out of the bath, the tub, the shower, they don't moisturize. They wait until like, your skin already feels dry to moisturize. You wanna consistently moisturize after bathing and ideally, you know, you get out of the shower, you rinse cleanser off your face if you're washing your face at the sink. You may pat dry the skin of like frank drips of water, but you wanna make sure the skin is still a bit damp. So that stratum corneum is really holding on to a lot of water at that point and then apply moisturizer onto the skin while it's still a bit damp. This is a huge, huge, huge game changer for dry skin um, because it really helps to with with moisture retention the occlusives in moisturizers will really help to lock that in now a moisturizer that is cheap as chips underrated in so many regards is just plain petroleum jelly now there's name brand vaseline petroleum jelly but you can also get the store version of this and in the store version is going to be the same thing i mean plain petroleum jelly is plain petroleum jelly you have a waterless ointment so it has a really long shelf life like if you get a large tub of petroleum jelly that's going to last a long time, but it's excellent at reducing water loss from the skin, so it's really a dry skin hero. Now, many people don't care for the way it feels on the skin. It is greasy and oily. Um, you know, there's that trend that was popular a few years ago and still is. I mean, it's always been a thing. They call it slugging. Basically just putting a layer of petroleum jelly all over your face before you go to bed at night to really seal in moisture. That is actually a really great way to um, cut down on dry skin. Now, some people with acne prone skin find that petroleum jelly because it is so, you know, occlusive, it can actually kind of aggravate their acne. So it doesn't work for everyone to just put it all over the face. But if anything, it is definitely something to have uh, regardless of your skin type because it really can offer excellent um, spot focused moisturization for really stubborn dry patches. I love it as a lip balm, love it for dry irritated eyelid skin. I personally find it to be a game changer on my feet. You know, when I get out of the shower, again, the stratum corneum and the bottoms of my feet are nice and hydrated, slather them with petroleum jelly, and the key is to cover with socks to really, really lock it in. Now, if you wanna use this on, on the body, I do that as well, arms, legs, works really well, um, again, right after you get out of the shower, and then put on some long sleeve pajamas to really lock it all in. 
do this consistently and you're really gonna see a difference. You, you'll see a difference for sure. Doing petroleum jelly to really lock in that hydration, reduce trans epidermal water loss, especially at night when the rate of water loss out of the skin is much greater, it really goes a long way. I won't go into detail here for uh, brevity's sake, but I do have videos on all of the wonders of using petroleum jelly, like all of the ways in which you can use it. It's definitely a good investment in your skincare arsenal because uh, it's so multifunctional and it'll last for a really, really long time. Let's talk about a moisturizer that has ingredients in it that can really get in there and tackle dry, rough skin, as well as improve moisture retention and barrier function, just by virtue of not only the fact that it's a moisturizer and it's gonna reduce water loss through the occlusives, but it has ingredients in it that actually get in there and address barrier issues and water retention. And that is Eucerin's Advanced Repair Lotion. They also make a cream version, a little thicker, same ingredient profile. But this is $12.70 for 16.9 ounces, free of fragrance, it really addresses the needs of dry, rough skin texture. It has urea, which is part of skin's natural moisturizing factor. So it's really, you know, it's a, a good hygroscopic for improving moisture retention, but it also helps to improve and, and dissolve dry, rough, bumpy skin. It's a great option if you have a dry, rough, and bumpy skin, keratosis pilaris. I get questions about using this on the face. You definitely can try using it on the face. So just be aware that if you have really sensitive skin, the urea may sting a bit. In addition to urea, it also has lactic acid in it and it has ceramide in it. Now, like I said, I've used this on my face. I love it on the neck, but it's really a, you know, a workhorse for improving skin texture. Moving on to another moisturizer, that um, is also a great option in terms of having ingredients in it that address uh, the moisture barrier and the needs around dry skin. It's, it's got a few ingredients we've already mentioned, but all in one formula. And it is the Gold Bond Pure Face and Body Lotion. This is one, you know, if you've been here for a while, I'm a huge fan of products that are meant to be used on both the face and the body. I just, you know, it's a lot more convenient. It's a lot more, you know, less things for you to think about buying, less stuff on your bathroom counter, less, less is more. Um, and then, you know, if something goes wrong, uh, you know, you have fewer things to have to try and figure out where the, the problem has gone. So Gold Bond Pure um, is a great facial and body moisturizer. It has um, niacinamide, again, which helps improve the production of lipids in skin's outermost layer. It really helps with barrier function and it's an antioxidant to help cut down on oxidative stress. It has, again, urea in it. Um, and this is one that specifically been tested to be used on the face. So maybe a little less likely that your, that urea stings, but just be aware of that, that it can sting. But it's great for dry, rough skin texture on the face and for improving moisture retention. This also has panthenol, which we talked about in the um, Cetaphil cleanser, but panthenol is you know B5, very good for moisturizing the skin. And it has um, gluconolactone, which is a polyhydroxy acid. Now, polyhydroxy acids, I love because they do a lot of what people want without what people don't want. And that is, they basically help to exfoliate, albeit super gently, um, rough skin to smooth the skin surface but they're much less uh, likely to cause irritation in comparison to alpha hydroxy acid or salicylic acid. I mean, they're really, really gentle, but they also do an excellent job improving moisture retention. They have been shown to be beneficial for improving skin elasticity. They're a great option if you have the sensitive skin condition rosacea and you want something to smooth out the skin surface, but of course being rosacea, you're super sensitive to things, especially acids. You know, polyhydroxy acid is a really great family of ingredients to consider, and this has that in it. Along those lines, anything that improves moisture content in the skin, it allows your skin to get back on track with its own natural exfoliating processes. So in the long run, it's all gonna help you out. But this ingredient family specifically, it, it you know, gets in there and helps kind of break up the glue between those sticky, stuck together skin cells to really smooth out the skin surface and improve barrier function in doing so. Speaking of which, it also has ceramide in it, 
lipid that is part of you know your skin barrier when we talk about the skin barrier you really think about a brick wall where the bricks are these little shells of uh, protein nuggets that used to be keratinocytes they're called corneocytes um, and they're stuck together in this lipid cement just like a brick wall and part of what's that lipid cement is ceramides and with dry skin ceramide levels can decline applying them to the skin or applying niacinamide or you know any combination can actually um, help your skin get clued into making more of its own. So really a beneficial ingredient family of an affordable price, $9.31 for 14 ounces. Now, say you're someone who doesn't want to mess around with these specific ingredients. You're not interested. You just want like super bland, no nonsense. You're like you're not even interested in ceramides, niacinamide, nothing like that. You don't want any kind of alpha hydroxy acid and you, you can't really do, do the Vaseline, the petroleum jelly slugging thing. That's a little bit too greasy. What you have at your disposal, though, is at Target, um, specifically a moisturizer that reproduces a Vaseline moisturizer. So if you don't live near a Target, you don't have one in your area, you can use a Vaseline name brand version of this moisturizer. Um, but the Up and Up Advanced Repair Lotion, fragrance free, works really well on the face. It has excellent ingredients for reducing water loss from the skin, mineral oil, petrolatum, dimethicone. While it has petrolatum in it, and that tends to feel a little heavy on the face, that is not the case with this, I think because they've got the dimethicone in there. And so the overall formulation that really balances out any heaviness, greasiness, and it works really well on the face. Also an excellent body moisturizer. $3.89 for 20 ounces. It used to be two, less, like, less than $2, but inflation station um, here. But I mean, come on, that is a great price. This is a great product too to use as an aftershave. If you shave your face, um, you know, people will seek out all these aftershaves. Some of them can be super irritating in the long run. Um, just a basic moisturizer, and this really does the trick. Moving on to last but certainly not least uh, is sunscreen. Now, everyone needs sunscreen to wear during the day, during daylight hours, because sun is, you know, one of the huge, a huge factor in damaging our skin, especially the protective outermost layer of our skin, and that further can contribute to dry skin. But by wearing sunscreen, not only are you, of course, protecting your skin from sun damage, but newsflash, sunscreens are moisturizers. They're usually in a lotion or a cream base. The Black Girl Kids sunscreen, this is an organic, aka chemical sunscreen. There is no white cast, very hydrating. It has emollients in it to soften and smooth the skin. Um, it's water resistant up to 80 minutes. So if you are participating in outdoor sport, this is an excellent option. I have never found that this burns or stings around the eyes. I mean, it's made for the sensitive skin of children. Their skin can be more sensitive, but I'm telling you, this is underrated. $9.99 for three ounces at Target. Um, then, last but not least, uh, try the Bondi Sands SPF 50 fragrance-free um, sunscreen. They make this product for the face and for the body. I've tried both, and I've got to tell you, the body one is no different in performance for me than the face, but the body one is less expensive, so I use it on my face and to sun-exposed areas of the body. I love it because it's really moisturizing. It, like the Black Girl Kids, is an organic, aka chemical sunscreen, zero white cast. Um, but this product is really moisturizing. It does not sting around the eyes and it leaves the skin looking hydrated. I don't find that it has that, you know, air quotes, sunscreen smell to it, neither does the Black Girl Kids one. It stays in place well all day, water resistant up to 80 minutes. So if you do end up spending a lot of time outdoors, sweating with activity, this is a great option. All right, y'all, so I really hope this video was helpful to you all. Now, again, you don't necessarily need to buy a bunch of skincare products to address dry skin. Really evaluate your bathing practices, what you might be coming in contact with that could be drying out the skin. Um, but on the end slide, I'm going to link my winter skincare video because I give a lot of great tips in that video that also address dry skin, which tends to get worse this time of year in the winter months. So make sure you check that one out next. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.